What's up YouTube? Graylin Stewart here with another wholesaling video. So this channel is all about wholesaling real estate and just how to make money doing that. Uh, and also just real estate investing in general, okay? So there's one thing that you need to know and need to do rather uh, to be able to be a wholesaler, okay? If you wanna be successful at least, okay? And I know there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of different YouTube channels and people out there teaching it. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm not a guru, I don't teach it, I don't do anything. I just share my experiences on YouTube and hope that maybe it can help you out as well in the meantime. Um, I found success in wholesaling very early. I mean, as soon as I started, I had success because of this one thing. So um, it's really all it takes uh, to get a deal and to, to really start making this a business for yourself and to change your life, okay? So let's just first of all go over what is wholesaling, okay? If you don't know what wholesaling is in general, I'll do a quick overview. I'm not gonna bore you with all the ins and outs because most of you on this channel, you probably already know what it is and you're seeking to learn more, okay? So real quick, wholesaling real estate really is probably one of the simplest concepts out there. It's definitely not easy, um, but it's very simple in, in theory, okay? So what, what it is, is you reach out to a seller or a seller reaches out to you. It's a motivated seller willing to sell their house at a discount, okay? So you basically, you get a purchase agreement with a motivated seller um, saying that, hey, I agree to buy your house for X amount of dollars. I'm gonna start escrow on this and put up earnest money, whatever, okay? You get a motivated seller contract is what it amounts to, okay? Then on the next step is you gotta find a buyer for that property, because you're actually selling the contract. As a wholesaler, you're never selling the house. So don't ever represent yourself that way because that's technically legal because you don't own the house, so you can't sell a house you don't own, right? So, but what you can do is sell your contract uh, and that's exactly how wholesalers make money. Most wholesalers, however, are completely broke because they don't know this one secret. And it's not even a secret, it's common sense, to be honest. Um, and if you're willing to do this one thing, then you will be successful. So back to what wholesaling is, okay? You get a contract with a motivated seller, right? Now your goal is to sell that contract. So you're marketing that contract to uh, to cash buyers, okay? Because that's the whole goal. You want these, you want these uh, people to be cash buyers because they close fast typically, and they've got cash and they're willing to put it up for a good deal on a property, right? So you find a cash buyer, you get an assignment contract signed by that cash buyer, um, and then all your rights to that original contract with the seller is now all on that cash buyer, okay? Because of this assignment contract, right? So basically the buyer is saying that they're gonna take over your contract and you're pretty much out of the picture. You're just basically waiting on closing day so you can get paid because wholesaling is right there in the middle between the seller and the buyer. You're really just a house dealer is what it amounts to, right? You're just dealing these houses that you found uh, to end buyers. And that's really what it is. And that's what I call myself all the time. Um, you know, I'm a house dealer is, is really what I'm doing. So um, so basically, that's the general idea of what wholesaling is, right? You probably already knew that, sorry to bore you, but just thought it was important for those of you that might be interested in this space, okay? So wholesaling, um, I mean, I know wholesalers that start and quit just as fast, right? So they start in the business, they're all gung-ho and they're ready to do it. I'm gonna find me some sellers. I'm gonna sell it to an end buyer and make a quick $10,000, right? So, and that's pretty common. People do that all the time, right? But uh, most wholesalers out there, I'll tell you right now, like I said in the beginning of this video, is definitely not uh, an easy thing, right? It's very simple as far as the concept goes. Sure, there's uh, motivated sellers out there. You find somebody who will actually allow you to purchase their, uh, their property and you put a contract on that property in hopes to sell it to an end buyer. That's all simple in, in, in theory, but it's definitely not easy. But if you are willing to put the work in and, and, and do all the steps it takes to get there, uh, you can definitely make a lot of money because I do have friends doing upwards of several hundred thousand dollars a month, right? We're definitely not there yet. I'm still just a little guy, um, but we have had success. And like I said, we, we did find success very early um, in my first month. Uh, we actually closed seven properties in my first 
very first month of wholesaling, right? And I've been in this for about two years now. So as of this video, this is October of 2020. So I started September of 2018 is when I first discovered wholesaling. So here it is, the magic word, right? It's all about action, right? That's what we're looking for. It doesn't matter how much you learn, how fast you learn, how slow you learn, all those different things are great. But the bottom line is, are you willing to take action? Because that's all this business really takes, is action, right? Because I, I mean, I definitely know people that they're, they're still studying on this and they found out about it maybe the same time period I did two years ago and they still haven't pulled the trigger on doing anything, right? I mean, just uh, fumble your way through things, right? That's the only way you learn. We, most people learn by doing, not just by consuming content and, and books and papers and all this stuff, right? All that is good and important, but you can learn as you go, right? It's almost like fake it till you make it in, in one sense, but the bottom line is action, right? Once you have the concept down, you've got the general idea, just go make it happen. Go look out for, for uh, motivated sellers. Don't be afraid to get a contract signed, okay? Because um, if you get a really good deal, it's gonna be real easy to find a buyer for that property. And that's the bottom line, um, is just action. Because you can definitely have analysis paralysis and just try to search for answers forever, searching all the different YouTube channels or reading books or all those things, right? I mean, and until that point, it's just theory up until that point. Um, but if you really want to make something happen and you really want to make money doing this, just take action. That's it. It is not that difficult. So uh, that's that's I mean that's my two cents, right? So all it takes is action. That's the bottom line. Are you willing to take take action? Are you willing to do what it takes to get to the next step? Okay. Um, you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to know who your title company is even. You don't have to have a website. You don't need a business card. You don't need all these things, right? I mean, you can overthink things forever because I see people do it every day. Uh, to be honest, most people do that. They just don't take action. And you know, when I started, I'd already been in marketing and sales. So I've been doing that, basically sales and marketing pretty much my whole adult life, you know, as a career. So uh, it, it was kind of easier for me, you know, because I was already used to talking to people. That wasn't difficult. I already had a marketing background, so I knew how to how to do marketing. You know, mar marketing to motivated sellers is a little different, but at the same time, it's still marketing, and you're still trying to sell yourself and, and sell them on the idea of selling you their property, right? And, and keep in mind, motivated sellers typically are distressed homeowners in some way, shape, or form, right? So they're not always uh, let me say it this way they're probably more afraid than you are is what it amounts to so if you're trying to call a motivated seller or or that kind of thing you know they're not um they're not like nitpicking what you do know or don't know or can or can't do because they don't even know right so even if you're fumbling through things at first which is okay um because everybody starts that way i feel um especially when you're first starting out and you're just jumping in right just take the action make the phone call or knock on their door whatever whatever you're doing for marketing just talk to them because they're just an everyday person you know down the street just like you are right um, it's just simply a conversation that's really what it's all about is having quality conversations with motivated sellers that's what gets you contracts right but um, I mean, that's my two cents on wholesaling in general and how to get started because people overthink it too much. Trust me, stop overthinking it. It's not that difficult. Get the concept down, of course. You want to know the general idea, but you don't have to have everything perfect. You don't have to have the perfect contract. I mean, it took me um, over a year to get the perfect contract. I mean, I tweaked it probably a dozen times. Um, same thing with my assignment contract. And you can literally do a deal on a on a yellow tablet. Write out, you know, your name. You don't have to have an LLC to start out, you know. Don't overthink it. Just go get a deal. Write all the information on a on a yellow tablet and have the seller sign it and you sign it. Send that to the title company and they're gonna take it. Because that's a legal contract. You agreed to buy their house for X amount of dollars and, and it's their name and it's actually them on title and they signed it. You got a deal right there, you know, that's it. So you don't even have to have a contract to do this, right? Just get after it, 
go take action, and then figure it out on the way, okay? Uh, as you go, as time passes, sure, you wanna get a website, you probably want an LLC eventually, um, maybe you want to reach out to a mentor or whatever and like I said I'm definitely not a coach or a mentor I'm just sharing my knowledge and sharing uh, what whole someone has done for me so in a nutshell it takes one thing and one thing only to be successful in wholesaling real estate and that's action so please don't forget that um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe uh, we would love to have you as part of the family um, like my videos share the content we want to reach as many people as possible, obviously, um, and, and your help would be appreciated. So take care and look for me in other videos. Talk to you later.